Well, initially when you come in first year, you, you cover absolutely every aspect of engineering um, that would be relevant to a chartered engineer when, when you graduate. Uh, so that even everything from being on the shop floor, you know, for be working with mills and lathes and that sort of thing, and then even the, the technical aspect of those machines as well, and also design, um, so the technical drawing, that sort of thing. You also cover the basics of like maths and physics. Uh, and then eventually you get to specialise. Well, in second year and third year, we're just building on a lot of the stuff that we had done in first year. Yeah, well, between, between second year and third year, we do um, cooperative education. So that's where you go to a company and you work with them for eight months um, as part of the degree course. Um, well, we did co-op in Hamburg in Germany with Lufthansa Technik and it was very, very interesting. It was a slight deviation from, from my course, but it was, it was still quite relevant. I was working in the VIP and government jet aircraft section, and like everything I was doing, you know, is heavily involved in, in teamwork and in obviously communication with all the other engineers through German as well. So that was quite an experience. One of the most interesting things I found about the course was materials. Uh, we get to several modules in materials. So we do materials processing, which is just dealing with how you, you process different materials, you know, extrusion, that sort of thing, and also failure and damage analysis this semester. So it's kind of like air crash investigation, you know, that, that TV show, you, you go and you see pieces and you, you try and discover how they failed, that sort of thing, and, and that's building on previous materials modules, which we had done already. Now, when I graduate, I'd actually like to go back to Lufthansa Technic because they offered me a place when I was finished my co-op. And I'd be very interested in doing that because I was quite interested in the airplanes and there's various aspects I could go into. I want to go into design uh, specifically, uh, so either designing uh, replacement parts for aircraft and, and that sort of thing, and in as well for, for the repair of, of aircraft. Well, if you're thinking about doing this course, I'd definitely say that for design engineering now, you know, there's a lot of computer-related work in it. A lot of the software packages that we're using uh, from start to finish during the course are um, you know, see computer based and essentially um, an interest in, in maths or physics would be useful as well because that's a very, very big part of the course.